Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is all about blending and eyeshadow basically. So I shared some tips that I think are useful when it comes to blending eyeshadow and if you're too scared, I think this video might help you um, kind of take that leap of faith and start experimenting with eyeshadow. I rarely do very dark looks, but um, I used to a lot when I didn't really know anything about makeup, but now I really need to get back to that. But um, I did a very easy smoky eye and I'm just trying to keep it beginner friendly for everyone um, who's not very comfortable with playing with dark colors yet or with just eyeshadow in general. And I also used this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. It's kind of dirty because I use it a lot. But I use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette because it's so versatile. There's so many colors and I, I tried to keep it as simple as possible just to, yeah, just to remain beginner friendly and basic for everyone who's not that comfortable with eyeshadow yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying this series as well. I hope it's helping you in some way, shape or form. And I hope the last two videos of the series also help you. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a good day. Bye. <laughs>Okay, so the first thing that you want to do when it comes to um, your eye makeup is either priming your your eyes with primer, like eyeshadow primer. Um, Urban Decay has a good one as well as e.l.f., but I'm going to just be using concealer. And I'm just going to put my concealer over my eyelids, just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this um, Real Techniques brush. It's just their setting brush, and I'm just going to blend that into my eye and priming your eyelids for eyeshadow um helps the eyeshadow last a lot longer and it also just like well i like to prime with concealer because it neutralizes all of the discoloration that's on my eyelids i don't know if you can tell but like my eyelids are a bit darker and sometimes um people's veins like poke through so it's just creating a clean canvas basically okay now that I've concealed I'm actually gonna go in with powder and set this because if it's too tacky or like too sticky um, when you go in with eyeshadow to like blend it it will be a lot harder and it will be really patchy and it will just not be cute so I'm gonna just dip the same brush into some loose powder tap the excess off because I don't want too much powder and then I'm just gonna run that over my eyes Setting your eyes with powder also helps with the blending of the powder because if you think about it, if you're putting powder onto powder, it's just going to make the blending a lot easier as opposed to putting powder onto a wet product. Okay, so like I said before, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And I think this is a good beginner palette because it's so versatile. There are so many colors and it's just... It's, it's just so beginner friendly. Okay, so the first brush that I'm taking is this BH Cosmetics 101 brush. I'm actually going to show the colors that I'm using on the screen as opposed to like lifting the palette all the time. But I'm going to go in with the first color, which is a transition color. So what a transition color does is it basically creates a transition from your eyeshadow to your skin. So you don't want your eyeshadow to like have a distinct, oh, I have so much powder on my fingers. You don't want your eyeshadow to have like a distinct harsh line. You want it to kind of blend out into your actual like eye lid space or into your skin. So that transition color kind of helps that. So you want a, a color that's light and dark enough to show up on your skin but lighter than the rest of the eyeshadows that you're going to use okay we had some technical difficulties but like i said i'm going into the shade mocha first on this fluffy bh um cosmetics brush it's a 101 brush and i'm just gonna rub that all over my eyelid focusing on like the higher points of my eyelid It doesn't look like much, but that's okay. So think of the transition color as your base color. You always want to start with um, a transition shade just to help 
you make it easier for yourself when you're blending your eyeshadow. So there's just a little bit of color. That's okay. Okay, now I'm going to take um, this Ruby Kisses tapered eyeshadow brush. It just looks like so. And I'm going to dip into Roxanne. It's a lot more orangey. And I'm just going to place that basically directly under the mocha shade that we just put on our eye. That I just placed on my eyeshadow. And when I'm doing the transition color, I'm a bit more careless, I guess, with my blending. But I just do like windshield wiper motions and then I go in circular motions as well. You'll hear me say windshield wiper motions a lot probably. And I also think that it helps having a mirror below you and looking down into the mirror as opposed to having it oh as opposed to having it directly in front of you and looking straight on. Because if you have it down, you can see the um shape of your eye a lot better than um, if you were to look up and then you would have to like navigate around your crease if you do have a crease But looking down is a lot easier because it, like it's almost like a flat surface And I also like to raise my eyebrows just to see like just to use all of the space that I have because I don't have a lot We have our transition shade down um, I'm now going to take another blending brush from BH Cosmetics. It's oh, okay. I think the key to blending probably lies in the brushes and the fluffiness of the brush. If you try and blend with a thick brush like this that's like really dense and yeah, it, it's not gonna come out cute. Whereas if you use a fluffy brush that like moves a lot more, it's a lot easier to blend and um, spread the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go into the shade Chip, which is right next to Mocha. And this is a bit of a deeper brown. So with the darker colors, I want to start bringing them down or like start concentrating them down more towards my crease as opposed to my eyebrow. <laughs> so with this color chip, I'm just going to focus it on the crease area. And if you like, like I was saying, when you look straight into the mirror, you'll see where your eye naturally creases. And I have a really deep crease or like almost nano lids. No, mono lids. I don't know what they're called. Um, so I have to concentrate my eyeshadow a bit higher than most people, but if you have a lot of lid space with no deep crease, you are lucky. So with the color chip, I'm just going to build that color into my crease, into this like little socket. Basically, I'm just going around my eyeball. And I just like to, first I like to kind of just do slower windshield wipers to like work the color in. And then I go in circular motions to blend that color out. And the darker the colors, the lower they go. Like I said, so this is going to fall beneath the transition shade. And you can just go back in and keep adding color um, just to get it as dark as you'd like. But the key, another key with um, eyeshadow is going from lightest to darkest. So that way you can kind of build that ombre effect on your eye. And the darker you go, the less product you want to use. That way you can kind of minimize your mistakes. And the less product that you use, you can learn to build it up as opposed to going with too much product and then you kind of can't erase it unless you start all over again but no one has time for that so you want to use very little product when you're using dark colors and build your way up to the to your desired shade okay i think that's pretty good now i feel like i'm just gonna keep on saying an even smaller brush an even smaller brush but with this it's another bh cosmetics brush it's a number the number is rubbed off but with this color i'm now going to go into the darkest color that i'm going to use which is a black and i'm going to go into the shade abyss abyss i don't know really i don't really know how to pronounce 
whatever color this is but it's basically black and with black you want to use very little products because black is probably the hardest color to blend so i just dip the brush in just like a tiny bit you can see the very top and then i'm going to focus the black on the very outer corner of my eye so from about like the last quarter of my eye um and i'm just going to focus that into the crease and I tapped the brush so lightly I wish you guys could have seen into the product like you want to use as little product as possible and I really like this palette because it's pigmented so once I've like concentrated most of the products on to the, this outer corner, I'll start dragging it in a bit more. And I'm also going to bring it up a bit just to smoke it out. But the higher you bring your shades, just remember to keep blending. Oh, and another thing is that I don't hold my brush like right at the tip. I hold it kind of like three quarters down just to help me apply less pressure onto the brush. And the less pressure I have, the more like blown out the eyeshadow will be or like more smoked out. I don't know how to explain it. But if I were to use my brush like this, I'd be pressing too harsh and then it would be too pigmented and then it just won't look cute. So there's that. So now I'm just gonna keep blending this and I'm gonna do the other eye as well. Okay, now with this clean, um, brush I'm just going to go around the perimeter of the eyeshadow just to blend it out a bit more with a brush that has no product that way I can just yeah just to blend out the eyeshadow basically and um, while not adding any new product okay one of the last things for this lid space is um, adding the eyelid color so because this is a smoky eye i'm just probably gonna add gold and i think i'm going to go in actually let me swatch these golds so these are my three gold options i think i'm gonna go with the middle one so i'm actually going to be using my fingers to put in my um my eyelid color you're very welcome to use a brush and if you do use a brush i'd recommend any flat brush that will do for your eyeshadow like that's Yes, to get the best pigment from a, using a brush for like shimmery shades, I'd suggest wetting your brush or just spraying some setting spray onto your brush and then dipping into the product. That, <coughs> excuse me. Whew, that way you'll get the most pigment. But um, your your fingers actually like work wonders when it comes to eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna dip into this color. It is called Meeks, and I'm just going to dip my finger in there. And then again, looking down, I'm just going to rub the eyeshadow on there. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into the shade Chip. And I'm just gonna blend out the the space between the lid color and the crease color just to like create a better transition. Now we're almost done. I'm just gonna move on to my lower lash line. So with this, I don't know. Okay, we'll take this brush. With this like um, pencil brush from BH Cosmetics, this is a number ten brush. I'm gonna dip into one of the darkest colors that I used first, um, which is Chip, and I'm just gonna run that across my entire lash line. And 
and you want to do this step after you've done your under eye concealer and everything just so that you don't cover this eyeshadow with concealer and then I'm gonna do that again and then with this flat um, like square brush I don't really know I'm gonna go into the black I don't know how to pronounce this color abyss a bias a beast I don't know and I'm just gonna concentrate this black on the outer corner like we did at the top on the lower lash line and then now with some eyeliner I'm just going to run this on my waterline and then now before I put on some lashes the very last thing I'm going to do is take another pencil brush this is another BH Cosmetics brush. I love. Okay, best eyeshadow brushes, BH Cosmetics. I well, actually best. No, yeah, best eyeshadow brushes. Yeah, I'm just going to take a lighter gold, and this is the color Queen. Okay, yes, we like. And I'm just going to concentrate. You can. I like highlighting the inner corner of my eyes just to make it pop a bit more. You can skip this step if you want to and just put lashes or just put mascara, but I'm going to do this. I'm just going to put on some mascara and lashes and I will be back to wrap it up. So that is it for today's video. That was probably the quickest smoky eye I've ever done, but I wanted to keep it really simple for all the beginners and just everyone who's new to eyeshadow or just wants to experiment. Um, I hope the tips that I shared with you all were helpful and I hope you can confidently use eyeshadow now. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>